Welcome again to another session around data governance in Identity Manager and Matt, what we like to see in this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about account access. So uh, just as, again, we have two types of access reporting. We have resource access and we have account access. This one would be focused on account access. It's kind of our bread and butter main type of reporting. Um, you can run account access from an individual perspective or from an employee perspective. We'll talk about account comparison and simulation and talk about where you can get those reports as well. Brilliant. And let's start with that. So now I'd like to talk about kind of a key feature, a key use case of this product, which is account access. Account access is what we use to describe the ability to find out where an individual or a group has access. And where an account has access is not just where those accounts are used directly on access control lists. Account access shows you where, where an individual account or group has access both directly and indirectly through their group membership. And through group membership, it doesn't necessarily mean that the group is directly on an access control list and the person might be within that group, you can have deeply nested group membership as well. So the ability to find out where an account has access, again, is direct access plus recursive, deeply nested group membership. The other thing that DGE also takes into account is local groups as well. So with your agents deployed, the agents are also scanning for local groups, local users, things like that. And DGE uses the information in local groups as well as part of the access reporting. So account access in this example, what I've done is I've created two groups here. You can see I have a domain local group and I have a global group. So here's my domain local group and I'll click on that. It's in my domain, Matico, and I've called the group DL, which stands for Domain Local, Matt Sisters. So I'm going to use my sisters in this example. I have two sisters, Pam and Jen. So I've created a Domain Local group in Identity Manager, and you can see that the child group is a global group called Matt Sisters as well, but I've named them appropriately so you can tell which one's which. Domain Local with a nested global group. Up here, I have my global group, Matt Sisters. In this group, I've actually put my sisters. So there's Jennifer Gillis and there's Pam Green. Those are my sisters. On my managed host, I've created a share called, and let's go back to it right here, sister stuff, right? So this is the folder where we're gonna put things that my sisters are, are interested in. And I can show you right here, the only thing that's in that folder is a text file, which are things that interest Pam and Jennifer. And the two entries are shopping and wine. And that's what they're primarily interested in. Probably some more things as well. But. So there's my folder. I've shared it as well. It's underneath a security index route or managed path. And the agent has scanned it. It's found the security. Now. When the agent scans security, the only thing it's going to find is down here that the fact that I've ACLed the domain local group directly on that resource, right? So I didn't put the global group. I didn't put my sisters directly on the access control list. I put the domain local group, which has the global group as a member, and my sisters are in the global group. So when I go to the security index, the security index is only going to show that the domain local Matt sisters group is there, right? The agent doesn't know about the global group. It doesn't know about Pam. It doesn't know about Jennifer. It only knows about the domain local group. Now, if I was going to try to run an access report on Pam, well, what I would do here is go no, because they sh there shouldn't be in the security index right now. Now, I, I might have been playing around with the data set. I thought I saw Pam there, but that's fine. So here, if I search for, let's search for Jennifer Gillis, right? So if I search for Jennifer, uh, let's try Gillis. There we go. So you can either do 
um, the first, or I could also do star. If I can find the star. And I could do Jennifer. And there she is right there. So Jennifer Gillis. And I'm going to do an account access report. But the way I'm going to do it is via the manage access query. So we have manage access and account access report. Basically, those two give the same information back. They're going to return where an individual account, a user or group has access directly and indirectly. So what I'm going to do for my sister Jen is I'm going to go manage access. Now, I've not given Jennifer any access other than her membership in the global Matt Sisters group, which provides her access to the resource that I created. So here we go. So this is the manage access view. Now on the side, you can see group memberships. It's hidden by default, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand that and I'm going to pin it just so you can see. Jennifer Gillis is in two groups. She's in domain users, but she's also in the global Matt sisters group. And you can see the global Matt sisters group is also in the domain local Matt sisters group, right? And you can see on the right hand side that it's doing some calculations, but I'm just going to go back up and click on Jennifer Gillis. And what this view shows is it'll show you across all your hosts, your managed hosts, the resources, the resource types where that account has access. So here you can see that Maddie Co. J. Gillis, Jennifer Gillis, has folder access indirectly on that managed host. But it doesn't tell you exactly which folders. This is the security index. This tells you very quickly that it knows that Jay Gillis has folder access on that managed host, but it doesn't tell you anything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that folder and it's going to actually contact the agents to get more detailed information about where Jay Gillis has access. So here you can see that the only access Jay Gillis has is indirect access via group membership. Here you can see the actual resources that Jay Gillis has access to. She has access to two folders, the cats folder. And the reason she has access to the cats folder is because she's in domain users. By default, when I create the users, it goes in the domain users group and she automatically gets access to everywhere domain users has access. She also has access to sister stuff. And the reason she has access to sister stuff is via this entry on the access control entry, which is on the access control list, which is the domain local Matt sisters group. Now within the domain local Matt sisters group, I nested the global group and then I put Jennifer there. So it does the calculation of deep nested group membership to find out everywhere where a particular account can have access. So this is the manage access, but the other thing I said is that you can also get the same information via the account access report. So again, manage access and account access report are pretty much the same thing. So we're going to switch back to the security index. The different options you can see here for a particular account that I have selected in the security index view. Again, we have account access report and manage access. Manage access is what I showed you already and then account access report. And I click on account access report. Now this is the wizard for account access report. It provides you a series of pages within the wizard that allow you to customize the parameters that get sent to the query as well as what you want to see in the report. So what I'm going to do is mostly I'm going to select the defaults. I'm not going to change anything. Uh, I'm just going to go again. This is an important one, expand groups, because that allow me to see all of the information that I'm interested in. Next, again, you can specify only specific types of resources for the report. I'm not going to change anything. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go finish right now. There's, there's other pages as well, but I'll just go finish. And it's going to generate the report right here in the manager. Shouldn't take too long. And there you can see we have our account access report, which you can then print or uh, save as PDF as well. The other place you can generate this report is in the web portal. So here I am logged into the web portal. And if you go to click on your name, go to my settings, report subscriptions, the very first report, you see it right there, account access report. 
and then basically the same options that you would have through the manager in that wizard you'll see them show up here so you pick specific target accounts the format that you want specific managed hosts etc etc and then you can subscribe to your account access report through here and it will get sent to you via via mail so in addition to being able to run an account access report from the perspective of either uh, an individual ADS account or from a group, from an ADS group, we also have the capability to run uh, an account access report from the perspective of an employee, right? So here, here's my sister again, Jennifer Gillis, and she has her AD account. She's associated with this employee object which is Jennifer Gillis, right? So this is the same account we've been using. And when I click on the employee, I can see that the employee, Jennifer Gillis, has the ADS account associated with it, but also another ADS uh, account associated with it. And this is jgillis underscore alt, the alternate identity for my sister. So both of these Active Directory accounts are associated to the same employee. Now, if I want to run an access report on the person who is my sister, then her access is a combination of the access she gets via this account, the first one, and this account, the second one, as well as all of the groups that either of those accounts happens to be a member of. So what we're going to do now in the task pane, when I'm, a, when I'm focused on an individual employee at the bottom, there's reports and we have account access report. So again, this account access report from this perspective is going to run the query against both of the accounts that are associated with my sister's employee record. So here you select your managed hosts and I'll pick this one here. I won't choose anything for excluded accounts, but I will pick expand groups. And then for resource types, I'm going to pick uh, NTFS file, NTFS folder, Windows computer share, and it doesn't show anything right there, but the, they are selected. And then I'm going to go OK. But before I go OK, I just want to show you really quickly that uh, I did take that alternate account and I assigned that account directly on a new folder that I had created. And as soon as I run the report, I can show you that. So OK. So now the report is doing the account access report, but it's generating it for both AD accounts associated with the employee and showing all of the data in the one report. So here you can see that the Jennifer Gillis employee has this account, Matico backslash J Gillis, and then it'll show you all of the access that that particular AD account either directly has or via group membership. And then if I scroll down, you can see that there's another account listed, Matico backslash J Gillis underscore alt. And that account has access to this new folder that I created called Other Sister Stuff. And I provided that account explicit permissions on the folder. And you can see those here when I click on Managed Hosts. Oh, here it is over here, this guy. Here's the Other Sister Stuff folder. And you can see that I gave that account explicit access directly on the folder. And that was shown in the report right here. And again, once the report is generated, you can export it directly from here. This report can also be generated from the web portal. So here's my web portal here. And then underneath my name, my settings, report subscriptions, and account access employee. So this provides you the same report. You can click subscribe and there are your report parameters.